This is the EDS detector. Uh -huh. uh, this one is so-called EBSD, so electron cascader diffraction detector. Mm -hmm. And that one in the red uh, is so-called WDS, so wave dispersive spectrometer. And so what's, so what's the benefit? One this one and that one are used to gain chemical information. Yeah. Uh, this one for, let's say, quick analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, you have used it many times during your analysis. Mm -hmm. And that one in the red is for, let's say, more detailed analysis because it has better either spectral resolution and lower detec detection limits. Mm -hmm. So in both, in both terms, we gain uh, order of magnitude, better resolution, and detection limit or sensitivity with WDS uh, compared to EDS, but for the cost of longer time for analysis. Mm -hmm. And the one down there is? Electron cascader diffraction detector. Okay. So that one that gains the crystallographic information. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're looking at the transmission electron microscope. In our case, uh, it's specified as high resolution electron microscope. So, uh, under specified conditions, we can see atomic columns in crystalline matter. So, uh, we claim mm -hmm. that we can do our work with atomic resolution, either observing uh, the structure of uh, the matter, or we can also do chemical analysis by using the, either the energy dispersion spectrometer or by using so-called uh, electron energy loss spectrometry. I'm struggling yeah. to get this all in. You say it's about four meters high. Yeah, this is, this is the, the height uh, of, the, of the box. And it's uh, currently under repair or, or maintenance? Now, now there's a maintenance work running in. Uh, the, we are replacing the electron source because it gets worn uh, after a time. So now, there is like uh, two thirds of the height of the ocean column is in place, and the one of the crucial parts is removed and now being serviced. So the thing that it's missing there is like half a meter tall, and uh, <laughs> encompasses the the electron source, the accelerator, and so-called monochromator. Yeah. And so, so with these instruments, we can we can see objects as as small as. Uh, 0.08 uh, nanometers, so 80 picometers is the specifications. Cool. Uh, it's not the sort of thing you would have in your average garage lab, is it? Uh, really? Not really. 